<laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Jim Stewart with Barker River Knives. It is October 5th. Let's go see what we got going on. I'm counting sheep today. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, on the production floor this week, following the Essentials in CPM 154, we have the Kephart 5-inch blade. This is our normal Kephart, only a little bit thicker on the spine. They're 125 on the spine this time. And the 4V versions, that's what these are made out of, 4V, are, are 5 inches versus the 4 of the normal traditional Kephart. This is just a little bit of a bigger blade, better steel, holds an edge for a ridiculously long time. You guys will really, really love this traditional knife. As you guys know, the traditional regular 4-inch Kephart blade was designed by Horace Kephart in the 1800s and and he really had something going for him with something like this something that's simple plain extremely utilitarian easy to use easy to carry there's a lot of pluses to this so definitely check out this and its other brothers in the series the regular cap art and the uh, mini cap art so we have a number of knives that we're doing a couple of oem projects in damascus but one of our own especially we are doing this is all i have to show you the skeleton of the water jet path for the adventurers in damascus as you can see, we got, a, we got a decent nest out of the size of the bars that we got from Zoe Chris and Zoe Chris Damascus. And these are going to be absolutely phenomenal. We're putting extra care into them. Really good steel, uh, phenomenal forging done by Zoe on these plates. And they are going to look fantastic. I cannot recommend that you guys put in some pre-orders right now for these because these are going to go fast. They're going to be hot. So, and I've got several skeletons over here of, uh, of what they're going to be. There should be about maybe 100, maybe a little bit over that. Um, so, you know, strike while the iron's hot. Also coming up soon, ready to go out to primary grinding, we have Fox River 2s in A2. These will be 170 on the spine, a larger version of our Fox River that uh, some guys just like bigger, beefier blades, and these did really well. So I would definitely, definitely check out, check these out. They're, um, this is a little bit different than the LT version. The LTs that we made um, were 150 on the spine, so a little bit thinner, and, but this is just bigger stock thickness and it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous when it, uh, when it shaves. And everything comes out of your hand. That's great about the Fox River is nothing but knife. So you get a great grip on it. You can hold it in a hammer grip. You can hold it in a fist. And uh, you can hold it terse. I mean, it's, it's uh, nothing but blade comes out of there for anything that you need it for. It's very ergonomic, very simple, easy design, and it looks fantastic when it's done. You guys know what they look like. Here's the finished cap part in 4V. As you can see, it looks, looks a lot like a regular cap part, but these are CPM 4V, and this, these are... Oh, this is so nice. A nice barrel shape to the handle. You can get a full hand around it. It disappears on your belt because it's a lightweight, large using field utility knife. And you can use this for bushcraft. You can use it for hunting. You can use it for surviving in the woods if you if you like to do that stuff on purpose, as I'm sure some of you guys do. But, but this is, uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Looks hot. My name is Jim Stewart with Bark River Knives. It's been October 5th, and we will see you guys next week. This is, these adventurers are really light. As you can see, we actually made them out of air, and this is just the, the skeleton that holds them. Flame.